Hi, welcome back. Hi, darling. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, August 1st, 2021. Welcome to my beautiful studio in Portland, Oregon. Hi, guys. How many guys are coming today? I'm going to wait for a few of you to, uh, to come. I just realized, guys, that I did not put a... Uh, I did not put a, how you call it, uh, like announcing this. Hi, Myrna, welcome. I forgot to put a, uh, a posting on, on YouTube saying that I was coming on uh, live today, but I'm, I'm pretty sure people assumed that I was coming, you know, because I put it on, on, on the video. So, I mean, I know, I understand if not too many people come, uh, because it was my mistake, I should have put uh, the posting on the on the community on, on YouTube. Okay, guys, welcome, how you all doing? Yes, it's a beautiful day today. It's nice and uh, like 85. It's going to be sunny. Uh, right now it's 12 noon, of course. And welcome, guys. So I have four people, three people. Hi. So I came from the gym this morning. I was, I'm kind of tired because I did a very hard workout. You know, I'm trying to bulk up, you know. So, yes. So let me see if I can put you guys a little bit lower. Let's see. Is that better? Yes. So what's new, everyone? How you, how you all doing? Uh, we had a wonderful week. You know, everything is, is going great. I'm very happy with all the candles that I'm making, guys. I'm, I'm so excited because everything is coming together so well. You know, I'm so happy with the soy bliss wax. Uh, you know, it's I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited. Every time that I try a new formula, a new formulation, it just makes me so happy. You know, it's like, for example, now I'm trying to come up with a perfect uh, lavender candle, you know, lavender scented candle. So what I did is I did uh, a few tests, as you saw on, on my video, you know. So I came up with four different formulas in here. So by the way, guys, I love using these testers, you know, to create to create formulations before I make them into candles. But, bef but before we go into the, into the lavender uh, candles, Hi, Angel. Welcome. Yes. So we're talking about lavender. Okay. But before we get into the lavender, guys, I really want to uh, just show you again uh, this beautiful candle. This has been burning for half an hour only. This is the honey bourbon and saffron tobacco from the Wooden Week Company. And look at the flame, guys. Look at the flame. It's, this is what I call an elegant flame. Look at what a clean flame that is. It's a very robust flame. Uh, this is soy bliss wax. And I'm using two different oils from the Wooden Week Company. And I'm gonna show them to you. But this is what I call you, tell you guys. Uh, this is why I love this. This is what I, what I, why I love these wicks from, they are very, they give you such a clean burn, guys. I've never been able to get such a beautiful, uh, such a beautiful uh, flame from any other from any other week series, you know. So, I highly recommend it for you guys. Okay, so going back to the lavender. Hi Chantel. Hi Val. Welcome. So, coming back to the to the lavender candle. So the first one that I made, it was like uh, with sage lavender, you know, and a lot of people like sage lavender. Sage is very potent, so you have to be careful when you mix it with something else, especially if you want to make like a, a, a lavender-based candle. Oh my God. I was able to succeed on this because I, I uh, mix two different lavenders, okay? So by adding an extra lavender layer to the mix, so you make it more prominent, so the sage goes to the back. You know, the note goes lower, so the sage is more prominent. Okay, on candle number two, I wanted like a citrusy uh, lavender, like a fresh smelling lavender. And this one, oh my God, because I mix lemon lavender. And guys, you have to try this. This is out of this world, guys. Lemon lavender, and I ran out of it. So I wasn't able to make a full candle. So, have you guys test, uh, test, uh, tried this before? Or do you have any favorite lemon lavender combination from any company? Because I'm willing to uh, try other companies. Uh, I tried to order this and you know, they charged me $17 for shipping. 
and I'm not going to pay $17 for shipping just for one oil. So if you guys have any ideas, you know. Okay. The, the third one, the third lavender I mix. Again, I mix sage with lavender. But this time I, did, I mix white sage and lavender and but I mix it with black amber and lavender from the, the flaming candle and it gave me the beautiful uh, balance. So here they are. So I made the candles guys. You know, they haven't they haven't been uh, cured for over a day, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to burn them yet, but I have to say oh you just got one from Virginia candle supply. Okay, thank you. I'm going I'm going to check it out. Okay, so this one, the CT is amazing, guys, after one day. So I'm, I just want to make a nice lavender candle for my candle line. Okay, number two, this is the one with the, uh, with the lemon uh, lavender, and you see how yellow it is? This is from the, uh, from the lemon, and this is glorious. I mean, I'm so beautiful, so happy with this, with this oil. Oh my God, I cannot wait to uh, to burn this. The third candle. Very sophisticated, guys. Again, look at the finish from the soil, from the soil bliss wax. Isn't that beautiful, the finish? Okay, and the fourth one. This one, I can smell the sage. So this one is not my favorite one, but you know, I'm going to give it a, a couple of weeks to cure. Hello, Mr. Wonderful. How are you? Welcome. Okay, this is not my favorite one, but you know what? Everybody has different tastes. So, so Mr. Wonderful, we're talking about uh, lavender scented candles. Do you have any 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 beautiful uh, lavender scents for any company that you tried and you want to share with us? Because I'm looking to make the most beautiful scented candles made with a uh, with soy bliss wax okay so guys let me show you so far i have two candles that i have approved for my line one is the uh the floral the floral base candle it's based with a uh, gardenia because gardenia is my favorite flower the other one is uh, tobacco base because tobacco is one of my favorite uh, beautiful beautiful it's my, that these two scents for me gardenia and tobacco are my two favorite uh combinations i mean candles that i have so i have two of them that are going to be officially part of my line so and i also have the citrus candles that i'm almost have approved but again I use this one, lemon lavender from the flaming candle. And you see how, how yellow it got too? That scent is amazing, guys. So I'm gonna, most likely I'm gonna use it on, also for my citrus candle in here. It's beautiful. So, I'm, so what I did is I made samples like this and I gave them to my neighbor next door. And so what I did is I wrote a paper like this and she's gonna evaluate them, so she's gonna give them back to me, uh, hopefully within this week. So I'll let you know what she what, what she thinks about it. So you love uh, bramble berries, sweet mayor lemon. Okay, I'm looking for a very lemony fragrance, very like strong lemony. Uh, is that strong? Sweet mayor. Okay, so you mix that with the lavender, okay. Okay, so. Do you guys have a favorite, just pure lavender fragrance oil that you, have, uh, that you will recommend? Because I don't have any, any, any uh, pure lavender. Uh, do you have any?
Okay, so you're uh, Mr. Wonderful. The the only advice that I that I that I give anyone when they're using problem six hundred is to use Vibar. Vibar two sixty was the only way that I was able to get any good CT or HD. That's the only issue that I have with um, with the PV six hundred. So try using Vibar two sixty. Okay. Okay, so I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna let this cure for a, a few more days, and I'm gonna I'm gonna run a, an HD test, and then I'm gonna uh, let you know. Okay, guys. So talking about weeks. Hi, Sean. So talking about about weeks. So I got a delivery from Jeff Stanley's West Sound Candle Supply, and guys. You're gonna think I'm crazy, but look at this. I got 500 of each other week <laughs> size. I had three boxes this big. So I got all the weeks in every size because I don't want to run out of them. You know, if I like one, I like them all. Okay, Lavender Bloom. Lavender Bloom, okay. Thank you. Okay, now let me show you another thing that I bought, guys. He, Jeff Stanley's, he put these clamshells and this I'm planning to do a samples. So whenever somebody buys a candle out of me, I'm gonna give them an option to buy at, for a free sample. So I'm gonna put a free sample of this inside the candle when I ship it. And guys, this is perfect because they can use it as a, as a melt. You know, you don't have to fill it up all the way. You know, you can just fill it up just a tiny bit, you know? So so, so they can get you know, an idea of, of how uh, it smells, okay? So again, the, he sells this, he just put them up for sale and I know they're gonna go fast, so this is what I got. Because I wanna make sure that I have enough. Okay, check this out. I got 500 of them too. So, that's the way I am, guys. If I like something, I get it all. I'm telling you, the same thing I did with the, uh, with the Nordstrom sale. I don't know if you guys have Nordstrom near, near where you live. You know, they have an, an anniversary sale every year. So if I like something, I buy them all. You know, so, yes. So Midwest Fragrances Company has amazing throw. Okay, I'm gonna check them out. Um, you know what, guys? Can you recommend a company that has lower shipping costs because the flaming candle and the candle maker store their uh, shipping charges are way up there, so I don't know. Okay, Midwest. Fragrances. Sean, can you recommend any good fragrances from them that you try? Anything lavender in the, in, in the lavender family or in the sage family? I'm also looking to make a beautiful rosemary candle. If you guys have any suggestions on, on, on the perfect rosemary candle, Okay, so they have a flat shipping cost of 99 and free over 150. Oh, that sounds great. Okay, and I'm definitely gonna try, uh, check them out. Because forget about candle signs, forget about wooden week, forget about, uh, you know, it's uh, the shipping charges are, are, are outrageous, you know? So yeah, candle signs, forget about it. I don't order them from them anymore. I just gave up on them. You know, the only company that I like near me is the Oregon tra Oregon tra uh, Trailers Soapers, uh, soap, uh, Soaping Supply. So they have, you know, big, being that they are in Oregon, for, for, uh, for me, it's cheaper. Yeah, Sean, the only, I'm, I'm telling you guys, these are the only two combinations that I've been able to get a, a decent HT. And these are the, this is the candle that I'm burning right now in here. Uh, it's giving me a nice, uh, nice HD. So uh, check it out. It's the only, it's the only one, guys. 
Plus, also the only one, the all, the other good uh, fragrance is the um, dark roast labdanum. Lab, uh, let me show it to you. Hold on. Let me just go get it. Okay, I'm back. This one. Oh my God, you is that for real? You bought all the Wooden Weeks new fall line and they have no throw, yes. This is the only one that I have to say, this one, gives, this one is gonna give you a good throw. This one. Okay, so the Cedar Mosque and Lavender from Midwest, okay. I'm gonna share you. Uh, I'm gonna share a candle that I just made, guys. And I'm so glad that you're telling me this, Sean, because uh, candle number four. I use cedarwood blank from Candle Science, smoked vanilla and white tea. It's not giving me uh, a CT that I want. So if you could, if you could. Uh, this cedar musk is that is it uh potent is it strong because i'm looking for a cedar musk that i you can tell this one is very weak it's, uh, so i'm not i'm not taking this one yes dark the, these two uh there's something about this 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 scent I cannot detect the, the tobacco scent uh, and the saffron. It's, it smells so expensive and beautiful, guys. It's so sophisticated. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, guys. Chocolate amber, I have that one. I have that one, uh, chocolate amber. It's very good. Yeah. So I'm gonna go check out Midwest uh, Fragrance Company. Thank you, Sean. And tobacco and saffron. Okay. Yeah, you, you you see, guys, it's like it's like buying perfume. You know, for me, it's like a for me buying a, a fragrance oil. It's it's like when you go uh, to a store. It's so funny, guys, because I went to to Nordstrom sale and I went to the uh, perfume department. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know if you heard about uh, Creed, C R E E D. Uh, they are, I, I think, they are from uh, from England. That uh, the fragrance uh, house. So just browsing around, and I went and I asked the uh, the sales associate, "Oh, these expense, uh, these these uh, fragrances are so expensive." And then she said, "Oh yes, they are from uh, from from England, whatever." And I said, "Okay, can I can I smell it?" So she put it on a uh, on a piece of paper, and I said, "No, put it on a piece of paper, and then I put it on my skin, you know." And that's the only way that you can really like appreciate uh, a fragrance to put it on the screen. And I sneezed so hard, it was it smelled so cheap to me. So that's to say to God, to you guys, you know, it's it's like uh, it's like viewing art. It's in the eye of the beholder. So to me, fragrance is in the in the nose of the beholder. You know, so it's you know it's it's different for everyone. So me in a studio fragrance. Yes, I I went to studio. Yes. Let me just check them out again. Studio. So bomb bomb. The bomb bomb good. Oh my god, sweet cakes is one of my favorite. And let me bring you my favorite sweet cakes. I'll be right back. Let me just I have it right over here. Hold on.
cannot find it. It's so good that I hit it really well. And I cannot find it. I mean, I have a mess in my closet. I mean, you see my, my closet, yeah? Let me show you. Look at this. You try to bring you guys over. I have a very long cord. So just look at the mess, guys. I have fragrance oils in here. I have fragrance oils in here. And I have fragrance oils in this side, all over here. So for me to find now a, a specific oil, it's gonna be impossible. So yes. Okay. Let's see what else. What else do I have to show you guys? Again, guys, I love curing my candles in this kind of box. I think again. I have the fracas. I had the fracas deluxe from Sweet Cakes. I was not impressed. I have it. I mean, I just. Actually, you know what, guys? I think I made a, uh, guys, I made a, I made a video, look um, on my channel. I think I, be, I did a video when I was uh, testing these oils. I think the frack was, was good. Uh, Sean, I think I liked it. I may be wrong. I, I may be wrong, okay? I think I, I liked the, the fracas. You know what? I think I saw it. Hold on. Okay. I have Praka somewhere in there. I cannot find it now. Uh, I, I love this one, Fantas Pipe Tobacco. Have you guys tried it? Oh, this is amazing, guys. This Santa's Pipe. I forgot that I had this. I'm gonna test this again on, on with, with some soy bliss. This is glorious. Oh my God. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna leave it out. Uh, have you guys tried this one, Black Orchid? It's very mild, but it's very uh, sophisticated smelling. I don't know what flower this is. Well, or Orchid. Uh, not my favorite, so I'm gonna leave it to the side. Aqua Flore, have you tried this one? Okay. Do you have you gotten any good hot throw from this? Because I don't smell it. It I don't smell it from here. Let me just do a test strip. Let me just do a test strip. Okay? And let you know. Sometimes you have to make a test strip to really appreciate the uh, the fragrance oil. Okay. So I'm gonna do a test strip of of this. I 
Have you tried mixing this with something else? I don't smell it. I, I really, really, really don't smell it. Maybe I have a, ba a bad batch. It's very weak for me. Okay. Uh, the Victor and Rolf perfume, I cannot stand. Uh, to me, it's way too strong, and I have it. And I have to be very careful when I put it on because it's, it gives me uh, allergies. This one doesn't smell. Maybe I got a bad batch. Okay, what about this one, guys? Have you tried this one? Oh, Mr. Wonderful. The wooden wick, they don't ship to Texas? Why? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know they didn't ship to Texas. I mean, it's... I don't know. Okay, guys, have you tried this one, Aqua Flory? It smells cheap to me. It smells. It smells like. Uh, it smells like a uh, like a cheap perfume. I mean, that's me. Okay, let's see. Now this one. This one I truly, truly love, Violet. Oh, wow. Okay, so Sean is saying, they will ship to Texas. You have to call them. The website will block states. It's a glitch. It did the same thing to Tennessee. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you so much for sharing. You see... Guys, I love this platform, and I love when we all interact with each other, you know, even though I may not have to, a lot to contribute with you, but I like to share ideas, suggestions, you know, and uh, that's how we all grow. That's how we all learn, you know, from each other, and I really love this. I love sharing my time with you guys, you know, and just sharing ideas, and I really want to thank you. I really love this, okay? Okay, guys, this Violet Fragrance. It is the most beautiful violet fragrance I've ever smelled, ever. Oh my God, it's, to me this is pure violet essence and I completely forgot about this one. I'm gonna buy a bigger bottle. Um, this is truly amazing, guys. It's very hard to find a good violet oil, okay? Do you guys know of any other violet fragrance oils from any other different companies? This is amazing. Oh, Mirna, that's good idea. Okay, staying fresh with Peanut. Is that a company? Okay, uh, leather and lace. I think I bought a leather and lace from Nature's Garden. Uh, let me see if I can find it, hold on. No, I don't have it. Okay, the bergamot and amber from Hawthorne. So, okay, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. So you say Northwood Violet and Drew Drops? Uh, what company is that? Northwood is, is called? Violet and Dewdrops. Okay. Excellent. Let's see what else. Okay, this one, guys. Have you tried this one? 
Let's see. Okay, this one is beautiful. This one is the true, true beach, uh, beachy sand. It's saltiness. It has the ozoneness from uh, from the beach from the salt. As uh, it smells a little bit like sea salt and, or and orchid. Um, okay, I you know what? I, I have New York scents. They have very good fragrance oils. One of them. One of them. Let me show it to you. One of my favorite ones. Okay. Have you tried this one? Beautiful, guys. This, this vanilla, lavender, is everything. I made a candle out of that one. So one of my candles is based using this scent because it's so, it's not sweet. I like it, I like it when the vanilla is not sweet, you know, because I don't like to smell a candle. I don't, you know what, when I'm in, in the mood for romance, I, the last thing I want is pumpkin pie. You know, I mean, for me, some people may, may associate food with whatever, but for me, I just want something sophisticated, something that brings me uh, com comfort, and to me, it's not food. So adding this to lavender, it really, really makes a beautiful combination. Lavender vetiver. Okay, let me just make a note of that. Flaming candle is called lavender vetiver. Okay, I have a question for you guys. I have the, let me just bring it, hold on. So have you guys tried this one? This one is beautiful, but it smells, the only thing that throws me off on this sandalwood, guys, is that it smells like pepper. It has like a pepper, uh, like a pepper uh, aftertaste when you swallow. And that's the only thing that keeps me from really making a full candle out of this one. So I use this one as a, uh, to balance other lavenders, but I don't know what it is. Is the vetiver like this too? Does it have like a bite to it? Vetiver? So yeah, I mean, it's good, but not by itself. Okay. I have to say guys, I have so many oils from Wellington. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed because I've never been able to get a, a good HT with them, even with soy blaze uh, wax. You know, and I have I spent a fortune on, on them. I bought the, the big bottles and I, everything I do, I just cannot be able, I'm not, a, I'm not able to get any, any good HT. Uh, Egyptian linen and lavender buds. Okay, let me just take a note of that. Okay, Egyptian linen. And lavender buds. A dose. A dose two different oils, or is it one oil combined with the two? Yes, uh, vetiver is very complex. Uh, it's very hard to find a good one. Okay, one fragrance. Okay, thank you so much. I'll check it out. I'm telling you guys, it gets, thank you. Egyptian linen and lavender boss. Great, great. Does it give you good HT? Is, is it strong? I wanted to make, I wanted to make a present, you know? 
with lavender, you know, it just, I want it to be very relaxing. Yeah, I just want it to be like, oh my God, okay, I'm home, I'm here, I'm ready for love. Okay. I forgot what I was gonna tell you guys. Okay. 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 So like I was telling you guys, I got so many Wellington uh, fragrance oils. I'm gonna bring a few of them over so I can show you. Okay. Okay. I wish I could get beautiful HT out of this one. I cannot get any HT out of any one of these. I don't know why. I try all different kinds of waxes, guys, and this smells amazing. It's It smells so luxurious. I don't know why. I don't know why. I really, it's, it baffles me, you know, it's, okay, the next one is this one here. Again, beautiful scent. If I could get this to work, I can't, unfortunately. The next one, this one. Who are you talking about? Who are you, Sean, who are you talking about? Are you talking about uh, Wellington fragrance? When you say the fragrance costs more than sweet cakes and wouldn't we combine? Oh my God, really? This company? Stone Candle fragrance? Oh, I don't know that company. Okay, and this one guys. Why jasmine and mint? Again, okay, not Wellington, okay. It smells beautiful. I'm not able to get it to work on, on any candle to save my life. I try all different waxes, guys. And guys, could you please give me likes? I have 19 people here and I only have seven likes and I wanna grow my channel. So the more likes I get, uh, the more the channel grows. Thank you. Oh uh, yeah, one hundred dollars for a pound of oil. Yeah, I never heard of stone, stone candle fragrances. Let me just make a note of that, so make sure that I never buy from them. Oh guys, I just wanted to check with you. Uh, I have some some questions in here. Okay. Somebody asked a question, guys, on the group. Okay, hold on. Okay. Have you ever heard of anyone who makes their own fragrance oils combination, uh, fragrance oils from scratch? Because it was supposed to, somebody was asking that and someone was saying, oh, I feel like starting to do it myself. And I said, you know what, guys? I just, I don't think, I'm going to give you my opinion. I don't think uh, that making this kind of oil, uh, unless you are a chemist, uh, I will, I will uh, advise that because you don't know what kind of ingredients goes in here, guys. Uh, you know, you don't know what people add in, in, in these oils. You know, you have to make sure that you have all the information on the oils. Uh, you know, you have to make sure that you have the uh, the flash points. So you have to test all that. So for someone who's thinking out there of making their own fragrance oils, I would advise them not to do that, okay? Because, because something happens and somebody buys your oil and there's a fire 
or somebody dies from the toxic fumes. So, you know, you just don't go there. I will, you know, just buy the fragrance oil already made, okay? That's my, uh, yeah. I know Meredith. Yeah, there has to be some kind of a requirement. Yes. I think perfume, perfume makers, perfume is different, guys, because you're not, uh, perfume, you don't have, they don't go through, when you use them, they don't go to a chemical reaction, which is fire. You know, it's like, for example, you know, I use, I am a hairdresser, you know, and so there's a lot of treatments, like keratin treatments that people use on the hair. Um, they have sold on, on the beauty supply saying that this is all natural, uh, that there's no uh, harsh chemicals, blah, 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 and that's how they get sold. Well, guess what? Whenever you apply that treatment to the person's hair and you apply heat, the blow dryer, the fumes that get generated is formaldehyde, guys. That's what they use to embalm the, uh, the cadavers. So you're breathing all that, okay? So they don't tell you that. You have to use a chemical reaction in order to activate the product. So the same thing with a candle. When you take the oil and you mix it up with the wax and you light it up, the product that comes in here, the smell, the HT, whatever it is, the carbon, whatever it is, it's, it could be deadly. So you don't know. So you have to be very careful. Okay, yes. And when you do fragrance, uh, I've seen a lot of people making perfumes and they use either alcohol or they use vodka on the, yeah, uh, but it's, it's, it's a science, you know, I just wouldn't do it for myself. You know, I was always fascinated with uh, fragrance, with fragrances, you know, I, I'll never forget when I went to France with a friend of mine back in 2002, we went to the different uh, fragrance houses, a, little, a few of the fragrance houses in on, on Provence. And it was beautiful the way it the process the um, the lavender, the different flowers, you know, how they extract the oils, you know, this it's fascinating to know, yes. Okay. Okay, guys, do you have any other suggestions, any other ideas? Okay. So if you don't have any more, uh, guys, so I'm gonna let you guys go so you enjoy the beautiful weather. Uh, so what I'm gonna do this week, I'm gonna uh, test uh, my, lavender my lavender candles and I'll let you know which one I like the best, you know. Uh, I'm gonna do my research and I'm gonna look at the suggestions that you made uh, on today's uh, live stream and I'm gonna see if I can uh, make an order of different uh, lavender fragrance oils and I'll let you know. Okay, guys? So. I hope you all have a wonderful week, guys. Thank you for coming. And so I'm going to say, ta-ta. Yes. It's raining in New York. Oh, well. You know, it just nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do against Mother Nature. Just make it the best you can. You know, just enjoy the best you can, okay? Okay. Sean, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Wonderful. And I'll see you next Sunday, okay? Bye. Love you. Yes!